Hi and welcome Unity fans, here is a Unity tutorial for sprite animation. I had an idea about um, a game called Hit and Split and uh, it's a game for mobile devices and here's the concept. So what do we have? The name is Hit and Split and uh, the game engine is Unity 5. The type is a 2D game for mobile devices and the idea is that there are some uh, guys here painted in red, they are bouncing around in this small environment and you as a player you have a glove, a boxing glove for hitting this, uh, these guys and then they are bouncing back and you have a kind of saw and when you hit the guys with that then they are split into two parts. So that's the basic idea and there are some holes in this environment which have a particular color and you have to bounce the guys back into the holes and they should fit as far as size and color is concerned. Okay, the design could change, this is the basic concept and in this tutorial I just want to show you how to create this glove this boxing glove, how to import the images for this as sprites into Unity 5 and how to create the boxing animation. So let's start. Here is Photoshop CC 2015 and I painted a very simple boxing glove and I used several layers for this. The glove is here on the glove layer, the top layer then I have a kind of steel beam and I have a, I think the word is a coil spring or scroll spring, I don't know and I just painted one of these rings for the coil spring because you get the idea when I duplicate this layer and move this a little bit up you can see that you can build a coil spring like this and with this design with one image for the coil spring, you can create a great animation in Unity, but you will see how this will work later on. Now let's just move the separate images to three positions, so we can identify them as separate sprites in Unity 5. I created a new project in Unity and select the 2D project and you will get an autographic camera and every image you import in Unity uh, will be imported as a 2D sprite, not as a texture. This is the benefit of this 2D project. Now let's create a new folder called Sprites in which we will import all our sprite images and the one we just created is for the boxing glove. You can see when I drag and drop this here into the sprites folder it is imported as a sprite. So set this to multiple because we have multiple images in this sprite and now open the sprite editor. Here we go. Okay, great. Now you have the choice to split these sprites automatically Okay, but you also have the possibility to um, set the borders for each sprite manually. I will do this right now. Like this. This is the first sprite. And the second one. The steel beam and I remove the automatically created ones. Okay, very nice. And then you can give each sprite a name. Call the first one here Steel. This one is the Glove.
apply this. There is one empty area. Let's select and delete this. Okay, great. Here we go. Okay. Now we have three separate sprites in this multiple sprite object for the glove. Now create an empty game object. And this will be the parent for the glove, the steel beam and the coil springs. Name this perhaps glove object or something like this. And then drag and drop the glove, the steel beam and the coil spring as children to the glove object. Okay, now you have to set the position of the glove here to the top and you have to set the order of the sprites. The glove should appear as um, the topmost and the steel beam as the sword order one. Uh, no, sorry, zero. The glove has the sword order two and the cold spring the order one. Okay, great. Now we have one coil spring, but we need more. So let's position this one to the bottom and then duplicate this by pressing Ctrl and D key. Again, one more time. And the last one. Okay, great. Now we have five parts for the coil spring and we are ready to animate this to a kind of boxing animation. Let's move the glove a little bit down. Okay, this will be the initial position for our sprite. Now let's create the animation. First create a folder, call it animation for the animations we will create. Then activate the animation tab and create a new animation for this glove object. So let's call it, yeah, I think boxing animation is a good name. Boxing point anim. Okay, and now we are ready to set the initial state of this object. So, when we start, the glove will be positioned a little bit more upwards and also the separate coil springs, the rings here. Just like this, I think, yeah, that looks pretty cool as an initial position for the boxing animation and when you switch here to the animation tab you can see that there are keyframes generated for the positions of the sprites we moved. Now select the next frame for which we want to add keyframes and in the first part of the animation um, the glove is moved downwards and of course all separate rings here. So you can see when we move one ring that a new keyframe in the animation view is generated for the new position. Also move the glove a little bit down and this is the first animation step. Now move to the next frame 
this will be the the frame in which the glove is punching forward. Okay, let's try this frame here and move the glove. Sorry, not the whole object. Select just the glove and move it upwards. And also the separate rings of the spring. Just add more space between them because this is the punching and this means that the spring is extended. Just like this here. Yeah. This looks good. Now let's see our animation in action so far. Okay, quite nice, but I think this punching should be a lot faster. Okay, and here is what I came up with in the end. The first frame here is the initial position. Then I have a frame which the rings are very tightened. Then the third frame fully extended for punching. Then I return to the initial position. Then again I return to a tightened and in the end I have the initial position and this looks like this when I play the animation. Really nice and I think good enough for this tutorial. Sorry, I had to do this. So I really hope you like this tutorial. Please subscribe to my channel and support me on my Patreon so that I could do more tutorials like this. In the next one I will show you how to create the saw animations. So see you soon.